I am a huge Friday the 13th fan, but the film Friday the 13th, Part 13, Jason's Final Friday, was the worst in the series. So the film starts with a flashback of uh, Jason at Camp Crystal Lake as a child. Uh, during the talent show, he sings opera with a beautiful voice, but then the other campers dump a bucket of goat shit on him. He runs away crying, and the kids follow him and um, torment him by throwing hockey pucks and cans of Diet Coke at him. Uh, we cut to present day at Camp Crystal Lake. A uh, man and his blind girlfriend, Wendy, are listening to music on their radio in a tent. Uh, the guy goes off into the woods to go pee while drinking a Diet Coke, and Jason just promptly rips his head off. He enters the tent, and before he can kill the blind girl, the song he sang as a child plays on the radio, and she sings along. This prompts Jason to sing along, and they have an eight-minute duet. Eight minutes. <laughs> Finally, he sits down next to her, and they talk about their love of opera. The movie then cuts to ten years in the future. They are married and have a kid named Dewey. Dewey wants to be a killer like his dad, but his mother wants him to be a lawyer. Dewey tries to kill different teenagers, bungles it up, and his d dad has to help him. You know, same joke like that over and over, repeats for like an hour. Um, eventually gets a hang of it. It, lo it looks like they were trying to set up for a, a sequel or a spinoff series with Dewey as the killer. That's what it looks like they were going for. Uh, in the end of the film, it jumps f uh, forward even further into the future, and we witness Jason dying of old age in his bed surrounded by loved ones. I mean, okay, I mean, the Freddy, the Freddy Krueger cameo is kind of cute, but still, what? <laughs> this is the worst way to end the series, and I can't believe Paramount went through with it. This movie should never have been made.